If you follow video game news, you know the name Jason Schreier, the Kotaku Now Bloomberg reporter who has broken many stories about the messy development behind a number of huge games, from Destiny to Cyberpunk, as well as reporting on never-ending labor issues within the industry. Schreier's first book, Blood, Sweat and Pixels, was a sort of collection of those types of stories, the tales behind how big games came to life, or almost didn't. His second book, Press Reset, Ruin and Recovery in the Video Game Industry, is a little more harrowing. In Press Reset, Schreier is focusing mainly on the failures, though maddeningly, the failures that can often come with success, as we've seen with big hits like Bioshock Infinite or the Dead Space series, which somehow led to the dissolution of those studios for a variety of frustrating reasons. I felt this way when I read Blood, Sweat and Pixels as well, but you get the sense that the entire video game industry is constantly teetering on the edge of unsustainability with increasingly huge demands for sprawling games which require ungodly hours to complete. Though many publishers have made strides forward in creating better working conditions, at times, even as a result of Schreier's reporting, it remains clear that the video game industry could use some sort of unionizations for better protection for its workers, a point Schreier frequently makes. As for the book itself, if you have any interest in the inner workings of the video game industry at all, it's a must-read, given that few authors have the depth of sources willing to talk to them. In Press Reset, Bioshock Infinite feels like a common thread, a main focus for a chapter, but constantly referred to as the rise and collapse of that game led to many other teams and games in the wake of it. Another highlight is the full documentation of the disastrous tenure of 38 Studios, run by former baseball player Kurt Schilling, who clearly didn't have the experience to build the world-changing game he set out to, and everyone attached to the project suffered as a result. The higher-ups in the industry are not painted in a terribly positive light, as you might expect, where at one point Aya bosses asked the developer of Ragtag, a now-cancelled Star Wars game, where their FIFA Ultimate Team was illustrating the eternal demand for monetization, even in places it has no business being. Press Reset may not have as many big games featured as Blood, Sweat and Pixels, but if you like Shry's original, it's easily to imagine you'll enjoy this as well, as they share similar DNA, even if things are getting perhaps even more dark. It's not exactly a cheery read, as we're talking about exhausted developers that are often mismanaged out of a job.